Imagine a cell phone that costs less than a single installment on an iPhone and promises to eliminate your phone bill. It might sound like science fiction, but that's exactly what Tesla is reportedly about to launch in 2026. Called the Pi Phone, this device has an estimated price of just use 119 yards and offers something that until now seemed exclusive to futuristic films a direct connection to Starlink satellites, completely eliminating the need for cell towers. And the most curious thing? The goal isn't even to profit from the sale of the phone itself. Tesla's plan is much bigger, to use the device as a kind of entry ticket to lock the user into the brand's ecosystem. And what an ecosystem it is! The Pi phone would be like a delicious bait, cheap, beautiful, and packed with features. But by using it, you would unknowingly find yourself inside the Tesla house. From there, the temptation is great to try other products. The electric car, the Powerwall home battery, the full self-driving subscription, solar power generation for your home, and even internet via Starlink. Everything connected. Everything integrated. Elon Musk has never played by the rules of the traditional industry. He creates the game. And this time, he's targeting not only the consumer's wallet, but the heart of a market that moves billions a year and traps users in loyalty contracts that seem more like traps. The difference in this business model is stark. While Apple and Samsung sell cell phones for over $1,000 and still push accessories, repairs, and cloud services, Tesla comes in with an argument impossible to ignore. Pay little now and save a lot later. According to estimates based on the average smartphone usage cycle and carrier services, the potential savings with a Pi phone over 10 years can exceed $17,000. That's right, $17,000 that would normally go to screen repairs, data plans, forced upgrades, and carrier fees. All of that would become savings in your pocket. Of course, it's understandable to be suspicious. After all, how many times have we seen promises of revolutionary cell phones that never materialized? But there's a detail here that can't be ignored. The rumors are based on real patents, registrations in Tesla's name, and the strategic logic the company has been applying for years in other sectors. They did it with cars. They lowered the prices of the Model 3 and Model Y several times, foregoing immediate profits to capture market share. So why wouldn't they do the same with cell phones? Furthermore, the timing is favorable for this kind of boldness. Tesla experienced a historic drop in sales in the United States in 2025, with numbers not seen since 2021. And instead of backing down, Elon Musk seems to be doubling down, diving headfirst into a new market, offering a killer product with an impossible price and proprietary connectivity. It's the most efficient way to attract millions of new users to the Tesla ecosystem in the blink of an eye, even if it means losing money on every phone sold initially. And losing money at the beginning isn't a problem when the plan is to earn much more later. With the Pi phone in the hands of millions of people, Tesla is selling more than just a device. It's selling the idea of a connected, intelligent, efficient lifestyle all controlled by your phone. This can include unlocking your car, monitoring the production of your solar panel, adjusting your home battery, or even requesting software updates for your Tesla. The command center becomes the phone, and that phone costs only $199. This price, by the way, is strategic. It directly addresses a real pain point for most consumers, the total cost of a smartphone. Because it's not just about the device itself. There are monthly insurance policies, exorbitant deductibles for screen replacements, mandatory updates, and internet plans that increase in price every year. It's a vicious cycle. And Musk knows this. He doesn't want to sell a smartphone. He wants to sell freedom. Freedom from carriers, contracts, cables, and repair shops. And the first step towards that is putting this phone in as many pockets as possible. The proposal to break free from traditional carrier ties gains even more traction 
when discussing Starlink connectivity. This is because, unlike cell phones that rely on towers scattered throughout cities and which completely disappear when you leave urban areas, the Pi phone promises to work even where others fail, literally anywhere on the planet. It's no exaggeration. Deserted beaches, mountain trails, roads without signal, everything becomes coverage area. And the most intriguing part, the promise that you would pay less for it. Instead of the infamous U100 dollars per month, the Starlink plan embedded in the phone can cost as little as use $15 dollars to use $50 dollars. The issue here isn't just price, it's survival. Having connectivity, even in emergency situations, can mean the difference between getting help or being stranded. Imagine an elderly person walking on a trail, a fisherman at sea, or a family camping. With a direct satellite connection, the phone takes on an almost essential role as a security device. And that's a masterstroke because it transforms the phone into something far more valuable than simply a means of accessing social networks. It becomes a direct channel to the world, even when everything around is disconnected. But there's a detail that needs to be clearly understood. This satellite connection doesn't completely replace what we have today, at least not yet. Inside buildings with thick walls, basements, or places with thermally treated windows, satellite signals still suffer. And that's not Tesla's fault. It's physics. Waves don't easily penetrate concrete. However, the Pi phone promises a smart feature. It automatically switches to Wi-Fi or regular 5G network when the satellite connection drops. And it does this without you noticing, keeping the experience fluid. This type of hybrid technology isn't exactly new, but the difference here lies in the focus on simplicity and security. There's no need to activate anything. The user, especially older users, doesn't need to understand antennas or protocols. Everything is done automatically, as if the phone had its own intelligence that always seeks the best way to stay connected. This eliminates a huge barrier for those who aren't so familiar with technology, making its use natural even for those taking their first steps in the digital world. Another noteworthy point is the integration with T-Mobile, one of the largest carriers in the United States, which has been testing direct connectivity with Starlink satellites since 2025. This suggests that the infrastructure needed to make this technology work is already in motion, and it's not just a laboratory idea. And let's face it, when it comes to Elon Musk, it's not uncommon to see futuristic technologies become reality much sooner than experts predicted. Although details about the exact data plans are not yet confirmed, speculation already revolves around three models. A free one with speed and data limits, another with a low monthly fee, and a more robust premium plan. In all of them, the cost would still be well below what most Americans spend today on phone service alone. And this price difference could be the deciding factor for mass adoption, especially among those who are tired of paying high prices for even the most basic service. The idea of a phone that saves money and works anywhere would be incredible on its own. But what really stands out about the Pi phone is its power source, the battery. According to leaks, this remarkable little device boasts a 6,000 T-T-4-9-5-45th mar cell, a capacity that already surpasses even the most powerful models on the market. But the number alone doesn't tell the whole story. What differentiates Tesla's proposal is how it wants to handle energy in a smarter, more durable, and more independent way. And this could change how we interact with our cell phones. You know that anxiety that hits when your battery reaches 20%? Or when you decide not to use GPS because you'll need to save energy for later? Tesla wants to eliminate that from your life, literally. Their philosophy isn't about fast charging at any cost. It's about maintaining performance over the years. There's no point in charging from 0 to 110 minutes if the battery is already suffering from degradation in the second year. The focus here is different. Longevity, stability, and real range. And there's more. The Pi phone may come with discrete solar layers on the back panel, 
capable of providing emergency power in situations where there's no outlet. Of course, this solar panel isn't going to replace the traditional charger, and it doesn't need to. The idea is simple and ingenious. If you're camping, traveling, or even during a power outage, the phone can still get some energy to send messages, make calls, or check the map. It's like having a built-in survival plan B. And this type of functionality has a direct appeal to an audience that lives in remote areas or that values this self-sufficiency, especially older people or those who don't trust relying on power all the time. Now, what's generating even more buzz is the possibility of the Pi phone coming with an aluminum ion battery, a technology still under development, but one that could surpass everything we know today in capacity, safety, and charging speed. Unlike lithium, aluminum is abundant, cheap, and safer. Furthermore, batteries based on this material promise a lifespan of up to 10,000 cycles, resistance to high temperatures, and a full charge in less than 10 minutes. If Tesla is truly ready to bring this to market, we're not talking about an evolution. We're talking about a revolution. Even though the initial version of the Pi phone still uses lithium phosphate, LFP, batteries, like those in the Model 3, that alone represents an incredible advancement. This chemistry is known for lasting three times longer than common smartphone batteries. While current cell phones begin to suffer performance drops after two years, Tesla's proposal is to deliver six to eight years of intensive use without significant capacity loss. And this completely changes the product's life cycle. Consumers will no longer need to replace their cell phones as often as they replace their toothbrushes. And it doesn't stop there. Tesla has an enviable track record in thermal management. Based on their car experience, the Pi phone can incorporate heat pipes, graphene-based materials, and adaptive charging software, which prevent overheating and optimize charging time. All of this together helps preserve the battery, prevent accidents, and improve long-term performance. The idea is simple. You use your phone all day without needing to charge it in the middle of the afternoon and still end the night with power to spare, something that seems impossible nowadays. Talking about energy and connectivity would be enough to excite any technology enthusiast, but Tesla decided to go further. One of the Pi phone's boldest proposals revolves around something that is increasingly worrying users worldwide, digital privacy. While giants like Google and Apple build their empires on the collection of personal data, Tesla's phone promises to follow a different path, a path where the owner of the data is once again the user. And in an increasingly monitored world, this sounds almost like an act of rebellion. The logic is simple. Since Tesla profits from selling physical products, cars, batteries, solar panels, satellite internet, it doesn't need to transform user behavior into a commodity. This allows for the creation of a system where information doesn't need to be sent to distant servers every time someone opens an app or types a search. Instead, everything is processed locally, on the device itself, with military-grade encryption and no mandatory cloud storage. In other words, what happens on your phone stays on your phone. And that changes everything. Another noteworthy feature is the physical privacy switches. No hidden buttons in confusing menus or permissions that automatically reactivate after an update. We're talking about real switches that completely cut off access to the microphone, camera, or GPS at the hardware level. This means that neither a hacker nor a malicious app, and certainly not a curious company, could activate these features without your physical consent. It's a layer of control that simply doesn't exist on most devices today. This approach is especially appealing to those over 55, an audience that still remembers what it was like to live without being tracked with every click. And the truth is that this increasingly connected generation is also the one that suffers the most from digital scams, identity theft, and abuse by malicious apps. In this sense, the Pi phone positions itself as a kind of bastion of digital tranquility, 
a more ethical, transparent, and much safer alternative for those who are tired of feeling watched. Of course, everything has its price. Some integration functions with cars, homes, and solar energy will require the use of GPS or Wi-Fi. But what changes here is the power of choice. You activate it whenever you want. And more, you can deactivate it with a click. This gives the user a sense of control rarely seen today. The experience ceases to be passive, where the system decides everything for you and becomes active, transparent, and respectful. And that, honestly, is one of the most powerful promises of the entire project. Another speculated feature is the presence of local artificial intelligence, capable of detecting phishing attempts, fake messages, and potential scams in real time, all without sending your data to the cloud. This not only reinforces security, but also alleviates the mental workload. Instead of worrying about every suspicious link, the phone anticipates, analyzes, and warns. A silent but powerful protection, especially useful for seniors who are often the preferred targets of cyber criminals. Digital security is a fundamental pillar, but it only has real value if the device survives daily use. And that's where the Pi phone shines. Instead of following the path of most current smartphones, which prioritize slim design and flashy displays, Tesla seems to have drawn inspiration from military engineering to create a phone that is practically proof against real-life situations. You know that feeling of butterflies in your stomach when your phone slips from your hand and falls straight to the ground? Well, the promise here is that this will no longer be a problem. And we're not talking about protective cases, but the device's own structure. According to leaks and registered patents, the Pi phone's casing would be constructed from aerospace-grade zirconia ceramic, capable of withstanding impacts from up to four meters high. For comparison, the current iPhone withstands about half of that. Furthermore, the structure would include an amorphous metal alloy, a type of liquid metal used in military equipment that doesn't crack under pressure and is up to four times stronger than common aluminum. All of this would be encased in a composite with graphene, a material known to be 200 times stronger than steel and with excellent thermal conductivity. It sounds excessive, but it's not. It's engineering applied to survival, and it doesn't stop there. The phone's internal design would also feature a novelty called floating architecture, where the motherboard and sensitive components are not rigidly attached to the casing. Instead, they would be suspended by an elastomer base, the same ones used in military hard drives. The result? When the phone is dropped, the impact is cushioned before reaching vital parts like the processor and battery. Simulations indicate that this system could withstand drops of up to two, five meters onto concrete without internal damage. If this is confirmed, we are talking about a level of durability never before seen in commercial smartphones. Now think about how much you spend on cell phone insurance, broken screens, damaged connectors, water damage, repairs that cost $200, $300 or more, and that added up over a few years can easily exceed $5,000. The Pi phone aims to eliminate this hidden and painful cost with a build that can withstand the rigors of water resistance. And if you're wondering about water resistance, the answer is not only yes, 